Kevin, the Monster, Randall Min, former UFC legend heavyweight champion and pride competitor, has reportedly died at the age of 44, following rumors that Randall Min had passed away. Bleacher reports Jeremy Botter confirmed the news on Twitter. According to Botter, Randall Min went to the hospital with pneumonia before suffering heart failure. Randleman, 17 to 16, I was an imposing figure in the cage with a muscular physique and hair that was often dyed platinum blonde. He debuted in the UFC's trademark octagon with a road to the heavyweight title tournament victory over former heavyweight champion Maurice Smith but fell to boss Rutten in the finals at UFC 20. The loss to Rutten stood out as one of the most controversial decisions in early UFC history. One fight later, at UFC 23, Randleman won the vacant title, beating Pete Williams by unanimous decision. The win was important to Randleman on more than one level, as Williams had famously knocked out his close friend and Team Hammer House mentor Mark Coleman, one of Randleman's coaches while a wrestler at Ohio State University. Randleman successfully defended the title against Pedro Rizzo, but lost the belt to Randy Couture at UFC 28. After mixed results in his following UFC bouts, he found his way to Japan and the fabled Pride organization. A three-fight winning streak in the Pride ring would mark the last time Randleman found consistent success as a fighter, but the veteran had a few classic moments left in him. Coming into a fight with Mirko Filipovic in the first round of the Pride 2004 Heavyweight Grand Prix, many expected a trademark Crow Cop head kick to fell the monster instead. Randleman landed a bomb of a left that dropped Filipovic and left him open to fight ending ground and pound. He went on to face the legendary Fedor Hamilianenko in the next round and pulled off a massive suplex that dropped the champion on the back of his head and neck. Emilianenko recovered and won the fight but the suplex will live on in highlight reels forever. Kevin, the monster, Randleman went 3-11 to from 2004 until retiring in 2011. He leaves behind a wife and four children. So there it is, man. I told you I'll get back to you. So he suffered a heart attack failure from pneumonia, man. He, um, he goes to hospital for pneumonia. This is crazy. It's a shame, man. It's a shame from pneumonia. I remember Costamato um, had pneumonia and he died and that. Like, pneumonia is kind of like people get that kind of when they're old. It's when you're cold and stuff like that. And he has suffered a heart attack, heart failure. So um, that's that's the reports coming out, man. Um, it's a shame, man. The guy was in so much tremendous shape. I mean, that's why I remember them have. But these sort of things, yeah, a lot of people were saying PED suffering and stuff like that. I don't know, man. The guy was huge, and a lot of the time PED was rampant that time. But I don't want to speculate on on that. You know, I mean, all I remember him like um, the head toss he put on uh, Fedor Menkilenko, you know, beating down um, Mirko Krokop. Um, and also winning the heavyweight championship, the UFC heavyweight championship. I remember that fight with, um, was it, I think it was, was it with Randall Couture? No, it was Ross, Ross Butin. I, he actually, that fight, he looked like he won that fight. And I think after that fight, I think they changed the scoring system in the UFC of the way they did things and stuff like that. They changed it directly after that, after the random fight. And then he won the, he won the belt, um, beating, um, uh, beating people like Pedro Hizzo and Pete Williams, uh, who knocked out his his uh, mentor in it, um, um, Mark the Hammer Coleman, and um, man, it's it's a shame, boy. But it's a sad day. So he suffers a, a heart failure. Um, I'll probably get more into it probably later on. But it's a shame, man. But that's, these things happen. So um, R.I.P. Um, Kevin the Monster Randomman, and um, uh, my thoughts go out to his family and kids and stuff like that man so um leave your comments in the comment section um like be respectful and stuff like that and um yeah man that's all we can do at this point man so i just put like clips of stuff and and that's it really man it's a shame man it's a really sad day in, in the world of mma all right man i'll catch you next one peace he did boxing live here he did boxing live here
Talk to me some rounds on the EJ Live YouTube channel. And he was uh, the number 10 rating contender, and he had never been knocked down. And Sonny destroyed his mouth. But Thea lost most of his teeth, basically, with one or two left hooks. Oh, shit, boy. What was look at kids sleeping like Manny Pacquiao? EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here.